In this talk, I introduce Scholarfy, an augmented reading interface that helps people read scientific papers by revealing definitions of technical terms and symbols right where readers most need them. The interface has extremely strong usability results, reducing the effort needed to answer questions about a paper. In a lab study, all participants reported they would use its core features frequently in future reading tools. The design of Scholarfy is motivated by the fact that, despite the importance of papers to scientific progress, they can be difficult to read. Comprehension is often hindered when the information a reader needs to understand a passage resides somewhere else, in another section, or another paper. One problem is the abundance of abbreviations, mathematical symbols, and new terms defined within a paper for use only within that paper. These are called nonce words. Unlike standard scientific terminology, which an expert in the field is expected to learn and memorize, nonce words are like temporary variables in a programming language. They are defined for use only in the paper and can impose a memory burden for the reader to learn. They are often cryptic. It can be hard to infer a nonce word's meaning from context, and a paper can contain hundreds of them densely packed together. How can interfaces show definitions of nonce words to readers when and where they need them the most. We designed Scholarfy, an augmented reading interface that surfaces just in time position sensitive definitions of nonce words, given a set of definitions that has been extracted from the text. At its most basic, Scholarfy provides standard interactive hypertext affordances. Interactive terms are shown with subtle underlines to convey their interactivity without distracting from reading. Terms can be clicked to open compact tooltips containing definitions. Atop this basic interactivity, Scholarfy provides five unique interface components to augment the reading experience. First, it improves on standard affordances for selecting terms to better accommodate definitions of mathematical notation. Any symbol can be selected by just clicking on it. Any sub-symbol can be selected by clicking again. Second, it shows compact definitions of terms in tooltips. These definitions are position sensitive. That is, if the term has been defined differently in multiple passages, the most recent definition of that term is shown. Links accompany the definition, which take a reader to the definitions in context. And if a reader wants more information about the term, they can open a sidebar of all definitions defining formulas or usages of the term. The third innovation is called declutter. When a reader selects a term, Scholarfy eliminates visual clutter to help readers scan the paper for usages. It does this by highlighting segments of text that contain matches and fading out the unmatched sentences. The fourth innovation is equation diagrams. When the reader selects a display equation, Scholarfy diagrams the equation, showing the definitions for all symbols at once, where labels are automatically affixed to each symbol and subsymbol in the equation. The final innovation is an automatically generated glossary of unique terms and symbols prepended to the start of the paper. This priming glossary can help prepare the reader for nonce words that appear in the paper. With these features, Scholarfy makes it easy for readers to find out what a nonce word means without getting in their way. In a usability study, 27 researchers used Scholarfy to read a scientific paper. When asked to answer questions about the paper with either a standard PDF reader or Scholarfy, researchers answered questions correctly with both tools. When using Scholarfy, they answered questions in significantly less time and found answers by looking at significantly less of the paper. They found it easier to answer the questions and were more confident in their answers. During unstructured reading time, researchers used all of the features of Scholarfy to support their reading activity. Researchers reported they could see themselves using tooltips and equation diagrams often or always if integrated into their reading interfaces. Read our paper to learn about formative user research that motivates the design of augmented reading interfaces, algorithms for detecting and segmenting math notation, and evidence about the user experience of each of Scholarfy's features. And stay tuned! Scholarfy is scheduled for launch on Semantic Scholar later this year with some of the features shown in this talk, as well as others, like previews of abstracts for cited papers.